Maybe I shouldn't call you or leave a message at all. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for joining me for today's video, which is yet another fall decor haul. I'm so excited to show you guys more of the pieces I gathered to decorate for fall. I'm actually pretty excited with the theme and the color scheme and everything that I am planning inside of my head for this year and I'm actually straying a little bit away from what I'm usually used to which is a lot of like the traditional rust colors with yellow and like those type of colors. I'm trying to go more with emerald green, burgundy and rust orange so I'm really excited to show you guys the items I have gotten so far. I have stuff from Hobby Lobby and from Target to share with you guys. So if you are interested, definitely make sure to stay till the end of this video to see everything I have gotten. And if you are new and you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you here on YouTube as part of my YouTube family. And if you are returning again, thank you guys so much. You guys know how much you mean to me and I absolutely love each and every one of you. But let's go ahead and get started with the haul. I'm gonna go ahead and get started with my Target items and then I will move on to Hobby Lobby. So the first items that I grabbed from Target are these amber jars. You guys know that I want to incorporate amber into my fall decor. I feel like a lot of people are thinking the same thing, but it just, it's a classic color. It's a classic material and it'll go perfect for fall. So I went ahead and I grabbed this jar from Target. It's from the Hearth and Hand collection and it was only six dollars which I don't think is bad for this size of a jar and it also matches the amber jars I have over on my console table already and I also went ahead and I grabbed the smaller one. I'm thinking about using these on my coffee bar and just replacing some of my Ray Dunn canisters just for the fall time because I'm kind of a little bit over having the same three Ray Dunn containers on my coffee bar and I think these will add the perfect touch of fall. So this little one is $3.99 and it was also from the Hearth and Hand collection and I absolutely love these. They're so beautiful and I'm just excited, like I said, to replace my Ray Dunn containers that I have on my coffee bar. <laughs> The next item is also from my coffee bar and I think it matches perfectly with those two amber jars but it is this pour over coffee system. I'm in love with this. It was actually funny because I had been eyeing it since Target had like the hearth and hand sneak peek on their like app or online and I absolutely loved it but on the app it said it wasn't going to be available until August 2nd. But Kaylin Cash, you guys know that I absolutely love her. I follow her on Instagram. She basically posted when she got this and it wasn't even August 2nd yet. So I was like, holy guacamole, I need to run to Target because I know things like this run out, at least in my Target. So I rushed my way to Target and this was actually the last one left. So I went ahead and I grabbed it and I'm so happy I did. I love coffee. I love using my coffee bar. I use it absolutely every day throughout the whole entire day. I'm making myself different types of coffee. I've gotten really into experimenting and making like lattes and espressos and so on and so forth. So I thought adding a new system would be fun to learn to use and it's also super cute. This was $16.99 and like I said, I just feel like it'll match perfectly with this right beside it, holding like my coffee and so on. Okay, so the next item I got, again, is from the Hearth and Hand collection. I feel like I just really love that collection. I know that usually anytime I haul anything from Target, it's either the Dollar Spot or Hearth and Hand, but I just really like identify my decor style with Hearth and Hand, so that is why. But I got this, um, I believe it's a vinegar and oil set. However, I am thinking of possibly using it for like my vegetable oil and my olive oil, but I also think it'd be really cute to add this to my coffee bar with like different flavored syrups. So maybe like hazelnut and vanilla 
or something like that because like I said, I've just really been into making my own coffee at home after I discovered how much money I actually spend at Starbucks. It's pretty ridiculous and me and my husband sat down and we actually kind of did the math for fun and yeah, I was just overspending so much money on coffee that I can make at home. So I thought this would be pretty fun to have on my coffee bar with, again, like I said, some flavored syrups. So I still haven't decided, but I will soon eventually. And this was only $12.99, which I feel is an awesome price for this. It's absolutely beautiful. It comes on this little wood like pedestal or stand, and it does have a touch of like this it's copper, but it's a little bit more brown than usual copper, so it looks a little bit more antique, which I love, and it does match the pour-over system, so it's the same copper color. And that is everything for the things that I got at Target. Now let's move on to the things I have gotten at Hobby Lobby so far, and I am going to get started with these because it's basically the same things. But I got these cute little like apple baskets. They're absolutely beautiful. They're really inexpensive and I did get two. So I got, I mean three, I got two of the smaller size and one of the medium size. There was a bigger one than this one, but I, for what I'm thinking about using it, I rather the medium one than the larger one. Um, the larger one would just be too big. But I absolutely love these. I think having this like in the middle with the two small ones on the side or maybe just the medium one, the small one, and the small one somewhere else. I'm not sure, but I have learned that getting two or three of the same like big items like baskets and stuff usually works out best. And these small ones were... $3.99 and as you guys know Hobby Lobby does have their fall decor 40% off but the medium one was $6.99 so I mean I think each one came out to like $2 and then $3 or something like that so super inexpensive and I'm so excited to use them they're so cute and they are the perfect way to add some warmth I'm hoping that I can find some mums to put inside of these I was looking at some artificial ones at Hobby Lobby but I just haven't bought them. Um, they're like $20 for like the big uh, floral, but I don't know. I don't know if I want fake mums or if I want real mums. Let me know down below what you guys would do. I usually kill plants. I don't know how I've kept the ones that I have alive, but I usually kill flowers, like when it's a specific flower plant. So I might end up getting the artificial ones. I don't know, you guys will have to wait till my next decor haul to figure out if I do decide to get them or not because I'm actually headed to Hobby Lobby today with my sister. But anyways, the next item I got, again, it's one of those things I feel a lot of people have hauled, but it is this cutting board. You guys know I absolutely love cutting boards as well as the wood like rolling pins. I'm thinking about adding this to my collection and over on my kitchen rods, I feel like I want to go with something like classic and simple, like just hanging all my cutting boards up. I'm still not 100% sure. But this is such a pretty cutting board that I couldn't pass it up and it was only around $7 after the discount so I really really do like this and I'm so happy that I did get it because the last time I went they didn't have it anymore so I'm happy I purchased this because I know it's one of those items I would have regretted if I didn't get it. And then the following items are just a different pumpkins. I know I already have pumpkins from last year, but like I said, last year I stuck to more of like the mustard yellow, bright orange, and that type of theme. And this time I want to move to the like emerald green or green burgundy rust orange, kind of like what I'm wearing today actually. Um, I just, I don't know, I just wanted to give something else a try. And one thing I have learned or I think has helped my decor is incorporating different textures whereas I used to think that everything had to be the same texture so you had to if you were using wood you had to use wood everywhere if you were using velvet you had to use velvet everywhere but I've learned that adding different textures just gives your decor so much more dimension so the first two pumpkins I got were these velvet pumpkins they're just a nice like sage or dark sage green i don't know exactly like how to describe this color but they also have like the little twisted 
stem which is absolutely gorgeous and these were only $3.99 40% off and then I didn't have I actually didn't have any green pumpkins from last year I had like the very like a light green almost kind of like minty blue pumpkins but not anything that I really wanted to use and I will be using some of those for my room this time around and for the bathroom because I am planning on decorating a bit more outside of like my main living area but the next pumpkins are actually these pigs again they are in that pretty sage green color and these just look more rustic to me they look more realistic than the previous ones obviously the stem is super cute and these were only $2.99 a cute or good little hack that you can do with pigs since they are basically less expensive than like the actual pumpkins but you can just take this little pick out and use the actual pumpkin and it is just really cute so i got two of these actually all the pumpkins i got i got in sets of two because i have figured myself out and i know that when i get one of one i wish that i had gotten two so that is what I did this time around. I didn't even give myself a chance to regret not getting two of them. So the next pumpkins I got are these rust orange ones. Again, they're just super rustic and they're really textured. So I don't even know what this material is, but it is absolutely beautiful. And these were only $4.99, 40% off each. So I got these and I also got that same style but I got it in the like cream or neutral color right here. So this is more of like a white creamy one. Whereas this one turned out to be a little bit more brown. But again, I think the dimension they will add is just beautiful. And I might pick some more of these up today when I go. So I absolutely love these. And again, these were $4.99, 40% off. And I love them. I'm so excited. I think they'll look very cute like all together. Let me show you guys but like all the different like textures just look so pretty together and the last final two items i actually grabbed two of but i did do two different colors um because i know where i want to use them and they're just going to go in different areas of the house so i decided to just get two different colors but it is this pumpkin again in that cream color again this is full of texture it's very like rustic looking it has the cute little stem i love this so much and i also got it in this rust orange color and again, just so beautiful, so full of texture. And I'm so excited to use these in my decor. And again, they just look great with all the other pumpkins that I grabbed. And these were $11.99, a little bit more than I what I would spend for pumpkins or want to spend for pumpkins, but they are 40% uh, off. So it makes it a little bit more worth it as well as they are a little bit bigger. And these do come with like three small stems, but all together it looks like one which i do really really like and that is everything for this video you guys that is every item that i have picked up so far i have ordered some stuff online so i am just waiting for those to get here so you can definitely expect a third haul if you guys haven't seen my first haul i will link it up here but it was a haul slash fall decor planning video and i tried to give you guys a lot of tips that i use when i'm shopping for my seasonal decor so if you guys are interested i will link it up here like i said and down below in the description box but that is everything for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you guys are just as excited as i am for fall i know that i am just so ready to start decorating but i want to share everything that i do get with you guys before i put out my decorating videos i do have a few non-fall related videos coming up soon and one of them is a pantry diy makeover for my oldest sister so i'm excited for that one as well as some cleaning motivation videos coming up so if you enjoy these type of videos definitely make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you are notified of my upcoming videos and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and until next time i hope you guys have an amazing day 
Please, you guys, continue sending me pictures. I absolutely love seeing your decor, and I will include them at the end of any like decor-related video uh, when I'm decorating and putting those videos out. So uh, again, like I said, just make sure you keep sending those pictures to me. I really, really do enjoy seeing them. And until next time, I'll see you then. Bye. Screaming